Well, here we are at Laura's grave and the crows greeted me when I arrived at Rookwood which was pretty amazing. It was um, humbling to be here at Laura's grave after my journey to Cornwall to sit there on the side of the grave and talk to her while I ate my apple and to tell her my problems and my thoughts and my dreams and I told her of Cornwall and I asked her if I could go back one day soon not next year but in about five years I'd like to go back to Cornwall and experience it from a different perspective maybe. And buried there is um, her son and his wife. The grave is overgrown but I don't think it needs to be cleaned or tidied. I think it's just perfect as it is. Rookwood's beautiful, it's so peaceful, so many graves, and I'll walk you down to where Charles is buried now, this is along here, as you can see, all the graves are the old ones, this is the old section of Rookwood, and I wouldn't mind being here actually when I die. The naval one's a bit more tidy, it's um, well kept actually, which is nice because it honours all those men who fought in wars, you know, put their lives on the line. And step up here, we come along and this is um, this is William's grave here. I've already visited this. When I arrived, um, there were crows actually sitting on that headstone, and I didn't even know it was his. And that was pretty awesome. And if you can see, he was really young when he died, 47, and he was in the North Sea. So, um, I love it. I really love this place. I'd love to spend a whole day here just wandering. It's very much like the graves in England except on a grander scale because this is a cemetery, not a church cemetery. Um, beautiful old trees growing. You know, just oh, the old date palms are amazing. And bunya pines over there. It's just awesome. And, like, I know nobody wants to die, but what a beautiful place to, to rest your body. Beautiful. It has, it's got character, you know. It's got, look at those old gates up there. It must have been where the hearse came down. The new part's not as nice as this. But apparently... Um, and we're back at Laura's. But apparently you can actually have your ashes put in here. I wouldn't mind that, but who knows. Long time off, I hope. So that's my day spent in... In... Um, Rookwood and I was hoping I could get some crows I don't know if you can hear the crows maybe I should ask them <laughs> it's down there look it's just beautiful 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 and who wants the graves to be all kind of tidy and I think the grass lends itself and obviously I think there might be 
bulbs planted in these graves because probably freesias. How nice would that be in springtime? We might come back. There's an I can see citrus growing, pomegranates. Beautiful. So there's Laura's grave. I'll read what it says. Coming up here, it says, In loving memory of our dear mother Laura, wife of the late William Truscott, died the 17th of March 1950, aged 78. God will link the broken chain as one, one by one we meet again. How nice is that? Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Bye. There's a picture of my flowers from my garden. Flowers from the heart. Nothing grand, but flowers from the heart.